This is First Morning Weather. A little bit of sunshine peeking through the clouds here this morning in the Horseheads High School sky cam. A little bit of warm up here coming out throughout the next couple of hours. We'll see the temperatures start to blossom into the 40s, 50s, potentially getting up towards the 60s later today. We'll see things get to the upper 60s and peak out around there around between the hours of 2 to 4 p.m. later this afternoon. Currently a lot of 40s in the region, 40 in Bath, 44 Watkins Glen, 42. We go a little further south in Ridgebury, 36 in Appalachian. So some of us still on the cold side, it's 36 up in Cortland too. So a chilly one for a couple of us here this morning. Satellite and radar showing a lot of this, a lot of this activity up here, this severe weather making its way into the region, up towards parts of Toronto, starting to make its way through parts of Niagara Falls, the Canadian side of Niagara Falls, and then making its way over towards Buffalo. It'll start to drift down. All this instability will make its way as it moves further to the southeast over the next several hours. We're expecting to see some things fire up late this morning, but more of that rain coming in the afternoon and some of the evening hours as well. But for right now, we're we're on the clear for at least the moment. Had a few light showers pass through not too long ago, but right now most of us pretty much just staying calm, partly cloudy skies and temperatures starting to warm up across the region. We'll see things get up into the mid to upper 60s throughout the region. Lots of 68s, both Mansfield, Wellsboro, 68 potentially today. Elmira 68 as well, 66 for Spencer and Tawanda for a potential high today. Of course, something else is going to be on the rise again, wind gusts. We've had a couple of days where the wind has been on the high side. Not necessarily like we saw yesterday where we had a few counties off to the west in a wind advisory, but don't rule it out. We do have some areas going to be into the 30, 35 mile per hour range for more wind gusts. And they're mainly going to peak around the afternoon. Calm down for a little bit there in the evening hours later on throughout Sunday night. But then as the sun goes down, it's going to be returned back to near calm conditions as we go throughout the rest of the evening. Here's the severe map areas to the south. Highest likelihood, of course, of damaging wind, potentially some small hail. If you go further north, the risk does decrease slightly, but we can't rule out more severe weather coming our way. The main risk, of course, damaging winds and, of course, small hail. Flooding and tornado risk on the low side. Not expecting too much rain from the system as most of it must fit going to be coming in at a fairly quick pace. I'm not going to have a prolonged soaking rain. And again, tornado risk is fairly low, but we cannot rule it out with this instability making its way through the region. Hour by hour, we see, do see a spike in precipitation chance around 10, 11 o'clock. Models indicating there could be a line of storms that pops up and makes its way into the region later on today. And of course, the evening hours as well could see some more showers make their way into the region. Again, he's going to be popping up, moving fast. Lines of storms could fire up later on tonight, pass through moving in from north to south. That's where we're going to see the likelihood of storms making their way in late morning, afternoon, and again, late evening, off and on in nature. On the seven-day forecast after today, pleasant conditions expected Monday and Tuesday in the upper 60s. More rain is possibly on the way for Wednesday, and then some showers for Thursday, Friday, continuing into Saturday. But if you look at the temperatures, Getting up into the 60s for a majority of next week. They'll start to slip down to the 50s for Friday and for the start of next weekend.